Hi, it's Carl again from selfsufficienthub.com and today we're going to be looking at these horse mushrooms. So they're quite a size. I spotted these from uh, a road about 200 meters away because uh, they're up on a hill and there's quite a few of them. There's another few patches over there and we're going to have a look at some of the key features. This is a slightly less mature one. Um, there's quite a few here, so I won't be pulling any more this size. Um, he's got someone already having a little nibble, so we'll get rid of him. And um, so the first thing you can see is it's a really stout, solid stem, and there's no egg sac at the bottom. There's the the cap is still attached to the stem in this one, but on the as they grow bigger, obviously, and open up, the caps come away. And as you can see here, this one hasn't opened that long ago, where it was attached to the stem, is still hanging on there ever so slightly. And even where it's come away, you still see that it's you still see the remnants where it was attached. So underneath, one of the key features: never will you want to see white gills. If you've got white gills, you don't have a horse mushroom. Um, the next thing you do, uh, there's two real tests to make sure you're safe. And the first one is you just mark the top. You can see I've made a couple of marks there with my thumbnail. It's really easily done. And then you check what color it stains. Now, as you can see, this is very, very slightly on a sort of beige yellow but hardly at all now that should trigger a warning because the mushroom responsible for most poisonings every year in the UK is the yellow stainer and the one of the first tests you do for that is you score it and if it stains bright yellow it will stain a much brighter yellow than this almost always then uh, you know move on that's not that's not safe um, but there's a second test and I'll do that on this one so that you always do too. The first test is the, the scoring. And if that had gone bright yellow, I wouldn't be uh, bothering to do the second test. So that's the first test. The second test that we move on to is the smell. And this is a really important one. So what we're looking for and what we're hoping we're gonna get when we smell this mushroom is a mushroomy smell. Um, like you'd imagine from the mushrooms in the shops, maybe with some aniseed or some nut type undertones, but we're expecting it to smell nice, like something you'd want to eat. We're not expecting it to smell like something from your cleaning cupboard. Um, any any chemically smell, anything like that is a, is a sure sign that we're leaving it behind. And uh, so let's have a go. Yeah, and sure enough, it smells delicious to me. It smells like, uh, mushroom maybe some nut but yeah so this here is we're gonna positively ID this as a horse mushroom and this is gonna be going in the pot tonight I think we're gonna do a tagli telly with this it's a great mushroom to eat a, a great mushroom to eat it's uh, you know there's a, there's a lot of mushrooms that are edible but this is a fantastic fantastic find okay good luck See you soon.